All right, you guys, so I have a ton of stuff that we're gonna try out today. Some of these are new products and some of them are just new products to me that I haven't tried yet. So the first thing I am just dying to try is the new Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect Foundation. So I got this in the shade Light Beige and yeah, I've heard so many good things about this. And I'm also going to use this new uh, Equal Tools sponge, little beauty sponge. I believe this was like only four or $5, so super cheap, super affordable. So so definitely wanted to give it a try. Okay, so the packaging is really, really nice. It's like super smooth and it has this little cap and it has a pump, so that's great. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pump it out on my finger and just kinda start dotting it everywhere. The consistency feels kinda interesting, like almost kind of um, silicone-y or something. Also don't mind my zit right here just just ignore him he's not welcome <laughs> anyway the consistency is kind of weird it's like almost it's like thick kind of silicone-y like I don't know that's a terrible description all right so I'm gonna take my damp sponge and just start going at it and dab in this foundation by the way is like a tad bit dark for me but we'll make it work um I feel like it's not the foundation, it is definitely the sponge. I feel like it's soaking up way too much foundation because that gave me like like no coverage. Um, that's really sad. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side and use my beauty blender instead. That sponge was terrible, I did not like that. Not one bit. I'm gonna try and go in with another layer and then blend it out with the just my trusty old beauty blender. I'm gonna try not to take like too much, too much extra foundation, but it's just like the sponge like just like soaked up all of it, so that's no bueno. So I guess it's kind of good. We'll see if this foundation can layer. So, okay, going in with the beauty blender. Yeah, that's blending out so much better. Okay, so officially, I don't like that sponge. Which is really sad to say, but it is what it is. Yeah, I feel like that even gave me like much better coverage too. Okay, I feel like that turned out really, really nice. Okay, so I don't have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Photo Focus concealer with a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape and put that underneath the eyes. I think this foundation is looking really good. I don't feel like it's clinging to any dry patches or anything. I feel like it looks pretty dang good. And also, I don't feel like it's too matte. Like, it still looks, um, still looks really healthy. Like, I don't like the, um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte because I feel like that's just too matte for me and it looks, like, super thick and cakey and dry on my face. But this looks really healthy. I really, really like it. Okay, so next I want to try the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I have never tried this before, so I just wanted to test it out today. I think I'll go ahead and use the lightest shade in here, which is this one right here. And I think I'll use the little Wet n Wild Small Stipple Brush for this. And just kind of go in and start contouring in the normal areas I will contour okay so I do feel like that's a lot more blended but I do feel like it does look a little muddy um, I think because of the texture of the foundation since it was kind of like tacky a little bit um, it's not wanting to blend very well but nonetheless I'm it's happening it's blending this side I feel like looks a little better. Looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. So to set my face, I'm gonna use the new Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light number 10. Now they didn't have very many shades of this and I don't think they have a like actual translucent one so I had to go with this shade so that kind of sucks um, I wish they would have like a translucent one I'm gonna go underneath the eyes on the nose on the forehead kind of 
in the cheek area. And I'm just gonna take what's left over and just start setting the eyes a little bit. Wow, that seriously blurred my pores so good. Oh my God, it looks so smooth. Ooh, okay, I really love this powder so far. Okay, so wow, that powder, you guys, mm, so good. And since I'm wearing a foundation today, I'm gonna keep checking in, so we'll also see how the powder holds up as well. But so far, so good. The foundation is looking really nice, plus this powder on top that just like blurred and smoothed my skin, like, oh. All right, so I'm gonna go in and bronze up my face a little bit with the Too Faced uh, powder chocolate soleil bronzer and just warm up the face a little bit and then we'll go into blush Okay, so we are bronzed up ready to go So I'm gonna use the new Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trios and this one is in the one peachy love And I just picked this up on Black Friday I believe they were having like 50% off of them, which was just such a good deal So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in I think I'm gonna mix these two together and put those on the cheeks Ooh, those are nice and pigmented. Wow, that is so pretty. I love that. They're super pigmented too. So yeah, really like that. And it's great for traveling too. I mean, do you see how tiny this is? Like it's it's a really good size like compared to my hand. It's a really good size, super travel friendly, and you get three blushes in there, so I like these. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna use is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. This is one of their new shades, and it's just like a super pale, almost like kind of like a champagne-y like pinky pearl but a very very light version of that and it's really pretty now i have really high hopes for this because their other highlighting powder in the shade precious petals this is so good and the formula is bomb so i'm hoping the formula is the same on these so yeah let's just go ahead and try it out really quick i'm going to use my real techniques setting brush this is the one i always use to highlight with also here is a swatch of it really quick looks super pretty i do have to say though it doesn't um feel as creamy as the other one but hopefully it's still good Ooh, oh oh my goodness okay this yeah this is good <laughs> this is still good Ooh, oh wow you can really see like the pink in it even though like it's a light super light pink but it's still super pretty i'm gonna highlight the nose Bridge and the tip of the nose. Wow, that's super pretty. Can you guys tell? Oh, it's really pretty. Cupid's bow and a little bit above the brow bone. Seriously, you guys? Oh, I'm like such a big fan of their highlighters. They're so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put my brows on really quick and I'm also gonna put some eyeshadow on. I thought it was really fitting to go ahead and use the Sweet Peach Palette from Too Faced just because, you know, we're using the peachy things today. And yeah, just gonna go ahead and put some eyeshadow on really quick and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay guys, so eyeshadow is on. Next thing I'm gonna use is this Eye for Elegance set. <laughs> the Eye for Elegance set from Stila. So this comes with um, the Shimmer and Glow, which are these little guys right here, and the one on the very end. And then these three are the Glitter and Glow. These are just like a topper for eyeshadows, and I already have one of the glitter ones, and they're so, so pretty, you guys. Maybe I should just keep with the theme and use this glitter one that's called peachy sheen so yeah these are what they look like they're super super cute and so freaking pigmented so basically i'm just going to put that on top of my eyeshadow and you kind of just like dab this on there you don't like need anything you know special to apply it um you could just apply it with the applicator that it comes with Okay, and then once I get to kind of the outer edge, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dab it just so it blends a little bit better and fades into the darker color a little bit. Oh my gosh, and the color, oh, stunning. Okay, so all that's left for the eyes is eyeliner and mascara, so I'm gonna do that really quick and I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this look. The last thing I want to mention are the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are so, so good, you guys. They dry down matte. They're like incredibly comfortable and they last for like a super freaking long time. Like I can eat something, like be drinking something and they're gonna last through all of that. Like it still looks like you just applied it. So I really freaking love these. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this really quick. This is in the shade Be My Baby and it's just like a pretty kind of like nude peachy color. And I think they're only like five bucks, you guys. So I definitely recommend trying some of these out. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly spray the NYX Matte Finish uh, Makeup Setting Spray. So yeah, pretty much everything in this video was like huge thumbs up loved it loved how it applied and everything like oh my god the um maybelline fit me powder holy crap you guys have to pick that up like it looks oh, oh my god it looks so good you guys like it smoothed my skin out like got rid of my pores and like i don't feel like anything is like thick and cakey even with the matte foundation like it looks really good too i'm super impressed by everything really the only letdown was the eco tools sponge this just for me it was like it's almost it's really squishy like no doubt but it's almost like a little bit too dense and it soaks up way too much foundation unfortunately and i just feel like when, when i was applying the foundation it just looked really really sheer and I mean, I guess it was blending it out okay, but like it just, it was so sheer and I got way better coverage with the Beauty Blender. I just gotta say you guys, I just did not really like this. If you guys have tried the Eco Tools sponge and you really like it, let me know how you use it. Um, if you think it soaks up foundation too, just let me know your thoughts on it. And of course, any of the other products, let me know what you think about them down below. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the try on part of this video. I'm still going to be checking in every so often. Um, right now, let's see, it is about 10.15 when I applied my foundation. It was probably about 9 o'clock. And I just want to keep kind of checking in with you guys just to kind of update you on how the foundation is looking, if it's like caking up anywhere, or you know, just if it's doing anything weird. So yeah, like I said, right now it is 10.15. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next check-in. Okay, hey guys, I'm back with a check-in. So right now it is 12.36, hopefully you can see that. Um, yeah, so it's been about two hours. Um, I feel like it's still holding up very well. I don't feel like I look very greasy, like maybe slightly on the nose area, but not really, I just feel like it looks nice and like luminous, you know? So yeah, that's basically the update. I haven't been doing much. I've just been studying for a test, which I have to leave for like right now because my class is at one. So yeah, I haven't been doing much, so I'm not like breaking a sweat or anything. But I mean, so far so good. It's holding up really well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next check-in. Hey guys, I'm back. It is now 6.27. So I've had nine hours of wear with this foundation and I think it still looks really, really good. It did get like maybe just a tad bit oily, but I mean to be a tad bit oily for nine hours is extremely good. I don't even feel like I need to blot or anything, which for me, that is a huge deal. So yeah, just to give you a little bit of information on this product, this runs for $36. It claims to be medium coverage, which I think that is pretty true. And it does obviously uh, claim to be matte and it is, matte but it also is it's not like a super drying matte type of look and it doesn't feel matte either it feels really comfortable and lightweight on the skin for for it to hold up for nine hours with I, I didn't use a primer by the way like no primer and it held up for nine hours and I only got a little bit of oil that is phenomenal like absolutely phenomenal. My foundations never do that. With all of that being said, it's a super comfortable matte. It, I feel like it, since it's not like actually drying on the skin, like it could um, be used for all skin types. I really just have nothing but good things to say about it. So yeah, that was my first impressions on everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely let me know if you guys have tried these products and if they worked out for you. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!